benefit of the doubt a little bit, but when you're just standing in the middle of the lane, right. like Jeff Till was, you got to make exactly. that call. Three ball, right side, Speaking Dominic three. Edwards, there it is. Uh, three seconds in the paint, three from the arc. Down to three at 42-39. Right side shot by Gia Air. Extended back to five. Yeah, and a 13-point night for Gia. On the rebound, good hustle there by Alice Robinson. Back to Shauna Long. Uh, good save by Dominique Edwards. Goes up, banks it in. Effort, oh, effort. That extra effort. Those screens. Dominique Edwards gets it to the playmaker. Gia airs over to Shauna Long. Three ball right side. There you go. Shauna with a three. That's her fourth three of the night. I think it's safe to say she's feeling some type of way. And we got a timeout called by Texas State. At Lamar. Gia lead pass ahead. Jamisha Edwards. Jamisha. Kicks it off to Sean Long, open three left side. There you go. Sean Long. Downtown. Seven point lead for Lamar. Lady Cardinal Lee. Dominic Edwards taking it towards the basketball. It's blocked by Eze. Dominic got her own rebound. Does a hook up and in. Hook up and in. 14 for 19 on the shot clock. Lamar by seven, 59 52. Bobcats are still clawing in this game, though. Sean along right on top, does a pump fake, takes it inside, running Jay from inside the free throw line, got it. Sean along. Well, if she pops a three right now, so she'll have it. And now to that is very, very high. Jamisha Edwards from inside the free throw line, answer for the Lady Cardinal. Pops it, Jay. Jamisha from Texas State. Shoot it from half court, Sean. <laughs> Down to the final minute, 10 here, Gia Ayers. Penetrating, it. kicks it off to Sean Long. Be it. Career high on the way. There it is. Oh. Career high for Sean Long. And how fit. It's unbelievable that there's, you know, 600 wins already. Um, this game was a game that really worried me because we're getting ready to go on break tomorrow. And, you know, sometimes we look forward to I'm going home to see, you know, family, Santa Claus. And, you know, we had to really stay focused. So, whew, glad we got this win. Um, I think that. Our kids, you know, if you watch us play, we really don't want to quit. You know, we get down and we continue to fight back, fight back. And, you know, we had some great shots, um, just daggers that just put the, the nail in the coffin for them. And it's, you know, these two here, Sean has just has made another point of her game where if she can't get her three off now, she can shot fake and go and hit that short game or take it all the way to the rack. So that's big time for her. Um, you know, we make Gia play for 40 minutes. We don't take her out. We expect her to run our offense to, you know, D up, and she does a really good job for us. We'd like to see her score a little bit more. So, you know, when you ask her a question, ask her why she doesn't, because she can go take the ball on anybody. It doesn't matter. You know, that's th probably one of her faults is she's a little bit too unselfish. So she needs to just be selfish and take the ball to the rack and just score because, you know, at any given moment, anybody on this team can carry us. But, you know, that's why I think that we're going to be a very good team in the, Sun in the South End Conference where it'll be tough to beat us as long as we defend and, and really hit our shots and, and just stick there and hang around. Well, I mean, that's one of the adjustments that we made at halftime is that we have to box off, and they're bigger than us. Even our post players, they're bigger than them. So we were trying to beg them to put a butt on a thigh and box them off and make contact. And even though we were doing that, they were still going over the back. We weren't getting that call. And if you ever looked, they were actually shoving us. So we just nearly stayed strong and stayed with it. We, we got lucky there a little bit that, you know, we did finally get the three-second call. They shot a couple threes and we had long rebounds and we chased them down so it was just really effort from us and you know we, we just got in the right moment where we were pushing the ball and we were scoring and then we made them get a little bit tighter and that made that adjustment so you know they, they couldn't just hit wide open shots on us I'm sure you can ask these two um, we really do work hard in practice you know we try to only go two hours but when we're there for two hours we we, we really run them we work them we make them accountable for their mistakes um, and that way they're in condition. So you work in practice and you play in games. So it should be easy for them. And we're just trying to set that tone for them. 